for the average family, this has like become the pinnacle. Hey guys, I'm Lee Morris. I'm Patrick Hall. This is another Critique the Community, and from now on, what we're going to be doing is giving one lucky person a free F-Stoppers tutorial in the F-Stoppers store. Patrick, pick a number one through 20. Nine. Nine, number nine, when we get to it, you're going to get a free tutorial. In the future, guys, when we do these Critique the Communities, stay tuned on fstoppers.com. We will put a post up, it's usually David who puts a post up that says, submit your pictures of cats, whatever it might be. What you need to do for it to be a, a real submission, you have to create an account on fstoppers and upload it to your portfolio so that the entire community can rate it. And then you just have to take that URL and paste it into the comment box and it'll automatically load the image. All of these directions are in the post. You can see that there, but I just wanted to explain that because some people are still uploading pictures into the comment box and it's not the right way to do it. Or YouTube comments. It's like, we'll never, never see this. Exactly, exactly. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. Today we're doing family photography. One is a snapshot. Two needs work before it hits your portfolio. Three is solid, meaning that you can put it on your website right now and make money with it. Four is excellent. And five is a world-class shot. First shot. I'm ready. I think, I think I'm ready. Three, two, one. Three stars. It's a solid image. I think it's good. I think it's kind of cute. It'd, <clears throat> it'd be nice on a website. It's not incredible by any means, but it's fine. It's tough because in, in this genre, it's, you're going to be like, well, what, what would push this to a four? You know. But I feel like this is pretty creative for, for a family portrait type of thing. Like If you saw this on a kid's photo website. Yeah, it's nice. I like you know. it. I like it. But, but, you know, I'm not blown away by it, but it's cool. Um, yeah, I think I'm ready. Three, two, one. All right, I gave it a four, you a gave four. it a three. Okay. I'm, I was thinking like a three and a half for this one. Here's the thing. If this was a commercial image, I might say like, eh, you know, the, the, the father it may not be like the most ideal model, but I think the, the reaction on all of their faces is fantastic. I love the, the grade or the... the edit that they've done on the people themselves. The shirts might be a little blown out for my taste, but um, I mean, this is a real reaction that a lot of photographers struggle to I get. think for all those reasons, that's why I would place it as a three. It's yeah. like the shirts are kind of blown out and it's just a simple shot, but in many cases, that's all you have to take to make your client, if that's these three people. Yeah, I'm sure they Really happy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So great shot. Again, if-, if Should you, be on your website, should be on your portfolio. For family, Photography, right. but if you're a commercial photographer, I might go for the more professional model route. Sure. Next up. I don't know what's going on here. All right, I'm ready. I don't either. Oh, I have a hard time judging this. <laughs> um, all right. Three, three two, two, one. one. I gave it a two, you gave it a three. I just feel like this is probably not like the best photographic image, but it has enough going for it in terms of, you know, the dog super cute. Like a family member would love this picture. Yes. And maybe clients that saw this image on your website would be like, oh, that's so cute. We could do that too. Yeah. And I feel like it, it deserves a solid three because of those reasons. So the reason why I gave it a two, I, I feel like, uh, the, the, the pig on the ground kind of feels like a mistake. The crown on her head with the hair kind of being smashed into her face. You think I'm being too too hard. I mean, it's just that's kind of what makes it funny and, and cute and it's like... Maybe if, if she was like adjusting the crown or something, I think it would feel more like she placed it there rather than the photographer placing it there. I think this should be probably a vertical image or... The photographer just needs to get on the ground, sh get past these rocks, and shoot more of the green background. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't think it's horrible by any means, but it just it, something about it feels just a little awkward to me, and so that's why I said it needs a little work before it hits the portfolio. But you know, I'm not going to be super offended if it hits a portfolio. Really, the pig to me just kind of feels like yeah, just clone why that, why clone that out, or yeah. you know, get a little lower and just bring the, the elevation of the people a little higher. Next up. This reminds me of a photograph like you and Dan would take when you guys have the whole family together and you are playing photographer. Oh, this looks exactly like a shot that I just took with my family like at Christmas. Well, there you go. That's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, right, right, right. Um, all right, we ready? Um, yeah. Three, two, one. 
I gave it a two. Um, it's like this shot's fine for the family. Yep. But I don't think it deserves a spot on your website. I just, I feel like with the ground sloping down and the, the foggy background with everybody's heads kind of sticking out over the top of it, it just doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like tight enough to be a portfolio image to me. Probably what I, what I would have done, I would have raised the camera a little bit to bring up the, the green trees behind them so that their heads aren't stuck in the clouds up there. So shooting down on them just a little bit and then crop in and make it like a chest up type shot or a waist up type shot yeah. so you don't see the, the weird gravelly ground. Then all of a sudden, you know, it definitely would be a solid three for me, if not a four. Here's the hard thing about getting portfolio images for your website from family shoots that you're not really directing and controlling, and that's wardrobe. To me, I look at the wardrobe and I'm yeah. like, this would never make the portfolio just because everyone's, you know, their clothes are kind of all over the place. And then you could also say they may not be the most photogenic people too, but I think wardrobe, if everyone was kind of in the same color scheme, that could help pull it a little tighter too, you know, but you don't really have control over that a lot of the time. It, that's why it doesn't feel like this family paid a lot of money for this photo shoot. And maybe they, maybe they did and we're totally wrong, but it feels like, oh, hey, we're at Thanksgiving together. Like, let's go outside and take a quick shot. And the photographer, I assume, Is lit in this. The picture? Well, I was gonna say lit this with some sort of soft box from the uh, upper right. Um, I think so. And so, you know, it's like somebody who's a photographer. It just feels like, yeah, the photographer's in the shot. He's probably the dude in the background uh, who ran in there real quick. Next up. What in the world? What in the world? <laughs> it's like, it's like old timey pictures where you have to remain very serious and still for the long exposure. Yeah. Plus like Star Wars. All right, three, three two, two, one. Two, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on here. Um, this has the potential to be really cool and interesting, yeah. but it's like the mom and maybe the daughter, like are most of the people not even looking at the camera? They're like looking past the camera and then their emotion and expression is like you said, like don't move a muscle for, <laughs> for 30 seconds. I, I don't know I don't know what the photographer told this group to do because some people look angry, some people look cocky. The the white guy in the back kind of looks like he's been frozen. He's he like looks a statue. A little, he kind of is stoic, like he's about to go to to war, war go to <laughs> on a venture or something. Yeah, so um, I don't think you can put this on your website because people like us who come to the website are going to go like, what is going I don't, on? I don't want to feel like her. I don't want to feel <laughs> like him, right. you know? David is now telling us that he thinks it could be a cultural thing and that I, I am not buying that. I'm just based on the way- You can't show these... your teeth or you can't be happy in a photograph. <laughs> yeah, and the way these people are dressed, this does not look like some foreign <clears throat> culture to All me. Right. I know people out there want this to be like, you know, helpful yeah what do you think of the lighting and the set and like maybe like it looks fine the way the people are posed like they're in a good position sure it's like the next few shots should be the picture that perhaps you kept yeah if all if these of all these people were laughing like it could be great yeah it could be great it's just like these facial reactions are are so wild and then and then could this... could <clears throat> for the sake of argument could you direct these people to make even crazier facial expressions that it would then somehow be awesome too? Yeah, if they weren't all like angry at, right. at me, okay. the viewer. Um, and then this one girl on the right that's dressed like Princess Leia, like it's just, it, it's, it's such a wild image to me. Um, I, I, I can't recommend you put this on, on your website just because it's so confusing. Like, I want to know what's going on in this picture. Yeah. And you don't want potential clients thinking like that. You want potential clients going, I want my family picture to look That's like that. That's the result I want yeah. at my shoot. Next up. Ready? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Three, two, one. You gave it a two, I gave it a three. I, I went, I was, two and a half is exactly where I thought it would be. Okay. Um, I guess if, if three is, could it belong in your portfolio, should it belong in your portfolio, 
Potentially, yeah. Especially if you live there and like you're trying to show off all the different locations and like what you can do as a, I mean, this could be like in the Bahamas or something, you know? Mm -hmm. I just feel like it's, it's a little wider than what I'm used to, which could be cool if you want to put it big on your wall in your house or something. Um, the weather and the exposure, like everything's great about it. I just feel like you kind of lose the people and usually the photo's about the people. I get, I, I mean, I agree to an extent. My biggest critique probably has to do with just the, the pose and the vibe out of the mother and the father. I feel like the daughter looks great, like she has a really natural, comfortable pose and a great smile that yeah. seems like genuine. And then the mother especially kind of looks uncomfortable to me and just like, you know, yeah. let's get this over with. And then the dad is kind of the same way. <clears throat> Would you pose the people differently? Would you put the dad in the middle with his arms around both of them and like try to make it more yeah, upbeat? And I used to shoot a lot of family portraits. I still will if people call me and I'm free. What I try to get people to do is to move around a lot. So I'm all about like, hey, why don't why don't we walk together? And it's hard in this situation. They're probably on like really sharp rocks. But I, I would say like put your arms around each other walk towards me you get the engagement and the natural yeah reaction. look at each other now look at me now look at this guy you know I'll, I'll i'll just act like a fool so that they're laughing at me yeah you know who is this crazy photographer what is wrong with him but then all of a sudden they're not thinking about hey what, are, what is my face doing how am i posing they're just laughing at me and then i think you can get much more relaxed expressions and poses whereas this just feels a little stiff to me but hey i mean I really what do you think of you. what do you think of the horizon and what do you think of the wide angle feel of it i mean the horizon's a little weird that it's going through two of their heads like that i was wondering how this would look if you came down a little bit more and shot kind of more across the rocks you'd be losing a lot of the you know beautiful blue yeah. water back there but unlike the other picture that had kind of the misty white sky if this exposure if you could get that in camera or you're able to process it this way you could bring the sky the horizon down so their head is more in the sky mm -hmm. but because there's something there i don't think it would be as distracting as the other shot yeah all right let's move on ready i think so three two one Really? <clears throat> this is another 2.5 for Man, me. Man, I was leaning towards <clears throat> 3.5 on this one. Really? Yeah. I just feel like maybe it's the location. Something is just, there's, the foreground is just so boring and blank. It's clean, and I like that. I think that translates well. It's just a good, it's like a good snapshot that's done professionally that's a great shot, but I don't know that, I don't know that this really says much to me. So this is why I would rate it higher than just a normal three i feel like the kid specifically looks really trendy like i feel like he's he's been dressed by some sort sure. of professional wardrobe specialist he's got the trendy hair it almost looks like he's you know doing some dance move or something i like it for those reasons i think it leans a little bit more towards the commercial side of things yeah. which i like um and then the 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 cleanliness of that you know brick ground going out of focus like that i really like it so i don't know i don't know if we're gonna come together on this one but i mean i thought it was a two and a half i could see where it could be in your portfolio but like a, a three and a half I, I don't think i would push it towards all right that. all right let's agree at three i feel like i'm gonna be the harsher one in this whole critique all right let's it's do been it. a while since i've done one of these three two one you give it a two, I give it a three. Um, here's the thing. I think you show this to the average mom who's not a photographer. Yeah. I think she loves it. Like, oh my gosh, look at yeah. the eyes. How did you get the eyes? And we're probably looking at it going like, oh, you went a little crazy with the post-processing, right? Yeah. I mean, the colors, like it, it's kind of got that like, I'm just learning raw processing look where it's got this oh, desaturated. I, I disagree. It's like undersaturated, <laughs> but then the eyes are brought up a little bit. It's like, I don't know. It just, it feels, this shot to me feels a little gimmicky. It feels like they're. But here's the, here's the thing about family portraits in general is that your clients 
don't know trends. They don't know how Photoshop works. They don't know how cameras work. That's why you have to guide them. You don't give them the the black and white image where everyone's colored and you know the selective color. <laughs> yeah. You you have to not do that for them. But for you to even compare this to like the kids holding the flower and the flowers in color and the kids black and white, I'm like comparing I it to that, uh, you, you guys can hate on me, but like it, it just feels a little Photoshop gimmicky to me, like. It's relying on the desaturated thing with the eyes and then like, you know, you've completely removed the face of the kid. Like, I don't know what it's like to be a parent, but yes, I might like the picture of the eyes, but I want to see my whole kid's face. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I, I, think, I think that's an unfair critique because she probably delivered a hundred other pictures of the whole kid's face. You know, that's like, that's like picking one shot out of, out of a thousand of the wedding and, sure. and, and it's a picture of the bouquet and going, why isn't the bride in the shot with the bouquet? Because she's in 30 other pictures with the bouquet. This one is just of the bouquet. Do you apologize? Can we put Chelsea back in here? <laughs> All right, next up. <laughs> that is pretty impressive, the way they got the kid to look at the camera. So now this is number nine here. So this is the winner of the tutorial. Mm. So congratulations. Um, we will send you an email or... We'll figure something out. Make sure that you watch this video and see it in the next post, and we'll tell you what to do. Three, two, one. Okay, this this shot has so much potential. I feel like the <clears throat> lighting is letting me down here, and and maybe the post processing is letting it me down here. It might just be for me the post processing because I feel like the light could be. I mean, it's nice light. The light on the baby for some reason looks good and it looks flatter to me on the couple and I know that makes no sense. I think it's just because her head is three-dimensional looking at the camera and theirs is kind of flat on the plane. So yeah. it's like there's just no room for shadows on them. But I agree. Like I think the lighting post-production just it needs a little more pop or something. Something. But yeah, I go back to the dog picture. Like I just feel like her expression is so cute that it like pulls you in and how could you not love this, you know? How could you not have a positive reaction if you're somebody looking to book a photographer? This image like has all of that. All right. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Really? Another three. Really? Yeah. I just don't like the light on this. I just feel what? like it. Yeah, the lights, it's too backlit and like what are you? Light. What are you talking about right now? You like now? the look of that? Like maybe if that was like in black and white or something. I just feel like. What do you mean? The I feel like they're in like green tinted light, like they're under trees. And I, <laughs> am I crazy here? You're, you're, am I crazy? This is the worst critique you've ever done. What? Because I don't agree with you? Like I just, I don't think it's. I don't even know what you're saying right now. There's no green tint on their skin at all. Yeah, I feel like it's just got that like green shadow look to it. What? I, I don't even know how to respond. Like you're saying crazy stuff. It, 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 it's like if I was like, oh, I don't like the way the husband looks in the shot. And you're like, the husband's not in the, yeah, the husband's right here. Come on, why can't you see the husband in the background? It's crazy. The lighting's gorgeous on this shot. My, my complaint is that the, the mother's expression isn't quite as... It doesn't match the kids. The kids' expression's fantastic. The mother's expression is a little like, mm, I'm tired of being here. How much long is this going to take? You know what I mean? It's like, when can I get out of the picture and you start shooting the kid along? That's what it feels like to me. Like I'm kind of over this. Yeah, so, but goodness. I mean, the, the expression out of the, the kid is fantastic. Love the colors in the background. Love that bokeh. Um, from here. Do you feel like the crop is a little off? I do. I feel like there's a little, maybe just a little bit too much going on over the top of their heads, but like there, that's such pretty flowers and color back there that I understand why the photographer did it. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, if you, if you told me this is a two because I just don't think the mother looks as great as she could and I don't think it matches the the kid I'd say uh, all right you know that's that's a hard it just feels a little grungy to me it just feels like the lights a little too overhead and behind and that it has a green I see like a green tint to it it just it just feels like 
I would have put them in more like open shade or something and got a little more detail out. Maybe it'd make the picture too flat. I don't know. I just, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the, the, the color of the light on the people. It just feels like they're in the shade and they tried to pull the, the green slider back a little bit and it went a little, like it's. Wait, so it was green a second ago, but now it's too magenta and then they weren't in the shade and you would take them in the shade, but now they are in the shade. I don't think shade. you understand. Like the light that's on them is green. And so to fix that, they've pushed the magenta away to fix the green tint. And therefore, it's got this unnatural... Are they in the shade right now? Or are Yeah, they they're in the, the shade with the... the, the and over... you, but you just said a second ago... Open, I would, open shade. You would take them in the open shade. Yeah. What does that mean? Open shade just means direct sunlight's not hitting them anymore, but they're being lit by like the open sky. So they're in shade. They're not in hard sunlight, but they're not next to a tree that's casting green light down on them. I don't think that they're under a tree at all. I think if you look at the highlight on the kid's face, I think that shows that they are under the sky right now. There is no sky where we are as the viewer. There's no sky in front of them lighting them down. The sky is like peeking up from above and behind them. I don't yeah. know how you, I mean, yeah, I, I would, I whether would or not that's that. a tree or not. I would agree with that. <laughs> all right, let's move let's on. Get we're, out we're, of not gonna, we're not going to agree. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> this is the most we've ever disagreed. I'm at a 2.5 on this. Like, I, I was like, I'm going to be the nice guy now and not be the bad guy. Yeah. I think it's, like, clean and it's simple and it's, uh, you know, I feel like the kid's reaction could be bigger, but it's got just enough to where it doesn't feel like, oh, I'm in a photo shoot, I don't want to be here. It's like maybe he really did catch something up there that he, the photographer asked him to look into the light. Yeah, it's And okay. instead of being like... I'm going to do what the photographer says. He's like genuinely interested enough to where, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's okay picture. Like it's not yeah. a solid three. I thought 2.5. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can, I can kind of agree with that. I think the lighting's great. I would just like to see more from this mini session and I'd like yeah. to see him engaging the camera. What do you think of the square crop? I think it feels good yeah. for this shot. Next up. What type of lighting do you think this is? Do you think they've added like a, a reflector along the bottom yeah, or is I mean, that another light down below? That looks like a... Looks like, yeah, looks like one of those like three and ones or something <clears throat> like the reflector that folds out. Yeah, all right. Three, two, one, three. I feel like they've, they've underlit this shot just a little bit too much. Um, and you know, you're kind of ghosting out the kid, the kid's reaction, his expression. He kind of looks like he's been, uh, uh, poisoned Sedated. or he's, he's been bitten by a zombie and he's like about to change or something. Um, so that's why, you know, I can't give it a four. I think the mom's reaction's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I really like this photo. I don't feel like it's perfect. It can't be a four, like in your family portrait thing. But I see this and almost see like an ad or something. This makes me think of Stranger Things or like something's like the kid <laughs> knows what, something's going on. But that doesn't fit this genre at all. Right, right. But I still look at this image and I'm like, that is an intriguing image. Like she is oblivious and he is in the know of something. But it's done in an interesting way to where you're not like it's a mistake. It's like that's just a cool reaction. But not necessarily. <laughs> I'm rating this though, you as though this person is oh, a I am family too. I photographer, am too. and should this be on their website? And I said yes, but it's definitely on that line. And I, I might, I might not like. I would not put this on my website just because of the lighting's a little, a little uplit. I feel like, and then his reaction's a little like. Uh. All right, next. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, four. Oh, look at that. We, I thought you were going to give me crap. Um, I love this. This yeah, has this like is... so much mood. Like this looks like what the highest end photographers would do <clears throat> if they shot family portraits. Like everything's subtle. Everything's messy. All of the looks and the engagement. Like how do you get kids to do that? I like the, the ocean and the waves, it's just enough to where it's there. 
to be the background, but you're not exploiting that we're at the beach and yeah. shooting wide. Yeah. Everything about this, I mean, this could be like, I, putting a five in this category, maybe I'd have to see a five to be like, oh, that's <clears throat> what a five looks like. Yeah. This is a solid four to me. What do you think about the horizon not being straight? I didn't really even notice until you brought it up. Like, obviously, it maybe bugs you, me. You it, could tweak it a little bit, but like, me. that's that's like on the smaller end of things yeah. for me. It's not the end of the world. It kind of adds to this like messy, real fill yeah. feel. Like, it, we, I didn't pose them like this. They just love each other, and this is what they do on a regular basis. Like, yeah. that's what's so great about the shot. And so, if the horizon's off a little bit, it's not the end of the world. But, um. See, this is good lighting from from the front. <laughs> I agree. I love the lighting on the shot. All right, next up. Ready? Um, I, th I think so. Three, two, one. Really? You went two? I did. I like this shot. Like, I feel like everyone's <clears throat> got a good reaction. Like, um, even though the mom's looking at us, which could be viewed either way. It could be a little off and like different, but I feel like everyone in there looks pretty good. And the way it's lit, simple, the shot going down, they're, uh, they're not, like we were talking about dressing before, like they're all dressed completely different. I guess you could say the kids are kind of dressed similarly, but like it fits. It feels like a casual day at the house as opposed to we all got dressed up to go to the mountains and it, the wardrobe didn't work. This feels, this is like a nice picture I think belongs on your website. So the reason why I gave it a two, I feel like the light source is too small. And so we're getting harsher shadows, especially on the white. On the girl. Like my, my eye keeps going to her. Now, if you wanted to use that light, I would like to have some sort of fill or something from the bottom that would just fill in those shadows, make it a little less harsh. I feel like this light's a little harsh. The crop's weird to me. I feel like we're cutting off a lot of the wife's body, but then there's all this dead space at the bottom that it just feels strange. And then the wife's smile feels very forced to me as well. And because she's the only one looking at the camera and because she's half cut off, I, I look right at her. The whole time my eye just goes to her and she doesn't feel comfortable <clears throat> to me. So if she moved her head and nose down a little so she was not being lit with the shade, Yep. And then she was interacting with the husband or like messing with the kid. Then suddenly, maybe I give it a four at that point. I don't know, but the way it is right now, just it feels a little uncomfortable. That's an interesting critique because you also have to imagine that in many cases, the person booking you is the wife or is the woman. Yeah. Like usually, they're the ones going through the websites, and yeah. the guys never like let's do a family photo shoot. Yeah, typically. So you have to make sure that that person looks great but, in the But, you know, every once in a while you get a person and, like, maybe she thinks, like, that's the greatest shot of me of all time. Yeah. And it's it's difficult as the photographer, you, you, know you have to remove is. yourself yeah. and say, like, this shot is great for my client. She loved it. It was her favorite fic photo of all time. But when I show it to other potential clients, this happens with weddings all the time, they don't like it for whatever reason. Like... I would shoot the most gorgeous shot of a bride I would think ever. And then I'd show like a potential client and she would say, oh, look at that horrible dress. What, what type of I looked at that dress when I was shopping and I hated that dress. And so for that reason, it, it, it carries over well, to the image where... That's not the best example because that would be one person. But I've had, I've had the shots where like multiple brides have said, man, her arms look really fat in that dress, don't they? And... The second something like that happens and you realize like, ooh, this yeah. is making clients feel uncomfortable for some reason, it's got to come out. Yeah. It's got to come out of your portfolio because that they shouldn't be thinking stuff like that. All they should be thinking is, I want my family in this shot. Yeah. If I saw this, I would, I would just say like, I don't know, this just feels really harsh to me. The lighting is like, I, I, I don't know. And so it's such a small tweak, though. I think, you, like you said, a little bit larger light just over the e over the top a little bit more or some kind of fill to just fill in the shadows. Yeah. Um, I still think it's a solid three that like that's a cool shot for your portfolio. OK. Hmm. This is really interesting. In a two kind of way. Are you ready? Yeah. 
three, two, one. I don't think it's a two. I was just messing with you. <laughs> we both gave it a three. I feel like this has so much potential, and I'm trying to figure out what I don't like about it. And, like, I don't like the wrinkles that I can see by the baby's shoulders. It kind of makes the background look cheap to me, so yeah. I, I would edit those out. Then I'm trying to think of, like, what else is pulling me out of this image because the facial expression is so wild. I love it. The lighting on the baby's face, I love it. But the shirt is, like, so bright that I keep looking at the shirt. And I'm wondering if there's some way, if you made this shot black and white or you did some sort of post-processing that really made the face pop a little bit more than the shirt, if it would totally blow me away. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's just because they're in a white shirt, Yeah. the light on the clothing became the strongest element. And like, if, if the baby was doing this, but leaned forward and did the Peter Hurley turtle head, you know? You're gonna turtle the baby and <laughs> have him squinch the eyes and like. Yeah, then, uh, then I just feel like, boom, now the head's the biggest part of the photo, whereas in this situation, it's the face yeah. is battling with the shirt for me. I can see that. But I, I feel like the background is kind of weak. Um, yep. Not because it's dark, but like you said, it's got this wrinkled, it just looks like a cheap photo studio. And then that makes the image feel subconsciously a little cheaper. Maybe if you're not a photographer, you would never even see the background and be like, that happens. But for us, I just think of the Olin Mills and like the, the home studios and it's like, it just doesn't have a professional feel. Yeah. But if that was just a little brighter, that's a window, or there's toys in the background. I don't know what it could be, but just something that <clears throat> felt more natural and not like a cheap studio, it, it'd probably elevate it a little bit more. Next. <laughs> Gangster baby. How do you even begin to rate this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one. You give it a two, I give it a three. I mean, I feel like it's it's done well. I, I don't know what type of family photographer you are that you put this on your website. But... I mean, that's the biggest thing. <laughs> this just feels so removed that like, I, I, at the end of the day, I would say this would discourage, I think, maybe I'm totally out of touch with what people- I would think so too. I would think this would <laughs> discourage people from hiring you, especially it's one of those things where if your entire portfolio looked like this, maybe you're the one guy who appeals to the type of client that wants this sort of vibe in their pictures, and maybe you're wildly, wildly successful because of it. But for me, it's just like, it's just so strange, like with the Jack Daniels and the alcohol and the guns. And so like, here's what I think is happening here. And I put a lot of guns in, in my work with kids, but this is it's just a little much. I don't think this is a family photographer. I'm just <clears> guessing. <throat> that the guy in the picture is the dad and is the photographer, and he did this for fun as like a holiday yeah. photo or something. That would make sense. So I, I, I find it hard to believe that somebody is doing work like this professionally, and people are like, yes, do more gangster photos with babies. Yes, yes, yes. But if, if that's the case, let us know in the comments on F-Stoppers, and uh, I will issue you a public apology. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I want to give this a four yeah. really bad. I just want like the bubbles off her face and I want- Oh, really? See, I don't, I don't mind the bubbles on her face. The fact that that one landed right where her eye is perfectly able to be red. Yeah. I would have taken this picture and it would have cut through the eye and I was like, man, it makes her eye look warped and weird. Yeah, what about the other bubble on the left of her face? It bothers me more, but it's like, it's fine. Like, it, it, it's what it is. Like, that's what should have happened with bubbles, you know? It's like when you do a departure shot of, at a wedding and so much stuff is in the air and you're like, I got it on the back of the camera. And then you get back and you're like, no, the confetti's like over their eyes. And yeah. it's, you're just like, ah, it's not quite right. This doesn't bother me at all. I feel like the composition or the crop, I almost feel like if you just went in a little tighter, because the background's cool, but I don't know how important it is. I feel like there's something there, like, and maybe the crop was off in camera and you need that other hand in there, but I just feel like there's something a little more concise that could make this a little stronger, but I love it. I think you should have this on your website and 
people are going to have a reaction to it. No doubt. It's a fantastic shot. My biggest critique is like, man, could we just get a hint of a smile on this kid's face? Not a big smile. Like, big smile would be great. Yeah, yeah. But just a little bit of wonder and joy. Yeah. Instead, the kid the kid just kind of looks zoned out. Like, the kid's not really even enjoying it. It's like you've blown the bubbles four times now. (laughs) And you're hoping you got the reaction on one, but it's the fourth time now. Right. So, great, great shot. But, oh, I just want a little better reaction. This, by the way, Yeah. this is, would like, open shade, like... She's in shade, but the light is falling on the face. That lighting scene. See, I don't know how much shade she's in right now. Like, I still think she's kind of being lit from above here. But right, but the sky is here. It's not where that softbox is. It's like... Patrick, get over... What in the heck? (laughs) Is this the same photographer as the... This is a different genre? What? What? What's going on here? Like in the, <laughs> who is that? It's like the uh, the unsolved mysteries guy is like in the front of the van. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, two. I mean this this looks <clears throat> this looks bad. Um, you know the 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 lighting is like super hard, flat light. I would imagine that the light. Let's try to guess what's going on with the light here. Because I do see, if you look at like the girl's feet down here, there are multiple shadows going on on either side of her. So there's a chance. Multiple shadows. Look on her by her ankles. There's a chance that there is a, like a ring key flash light. A... No, no. There's there's like a bare bulb light, slightly right of camera, going hard, and then there could be like a a secondary light on the left side, just firing a little bit. There's like three lights. Now we're looking in the glasses. Yeah, so there's like two lights to the right somehow. And one to the left. And then one slightly to and the left. left. And they're all tiny. They're all like really small little lights. Yeah. So, um... Is this a painting? What is what is this? I think it's a map of where the... That? Sex offenders are in the neighborhood, yeah. And then what is the tubing? Like that's the AC? <laughs> that's just part of the... Is that like David's AC? The truck. I don't know. Um... I mean, you know, it's a fun shot you do with your family or whatever, but you cannot put this on your website to sell to other people. (laughs) I feel like this is one of the weirdest images we've ever had in a critique the community. (laughs) All right, let's move on. Like, there's nothing else to say there. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Give it a two. I gave it a three. I feel like the post processing needs to be stepped up just a little bit. Like it's a little harsh with the blown out faces and stuff. And the little girls, I love their expression yeah. on the bottom, but like their forehead is bleeding into their hair. It's so blown out. That's my biggest thing is I feel like they're just too bright and the background's too bright. Everything's just too bright. You know, I feel like you could pull the raw down and kind of adjust it a little bit and get a better exposure that would read better. Like when I first looked at this, it took me a second to be like, wait, what's going on? Yeah. It's and then there's see. something about the composition. I don't know if it's this tree being on the same side as, I just feel like there's a composition here on the bottom with the kids. It looks great. And maybe if you cropped out this girl, there's like something there that looks great. But when you add it all together, it's like really busy. I almost just don't want that tree there. I want the tree to be blurry like that one, and I want the parents to be... Right behind them. Something. It's something yeah. about the composition in the frame and the framing of the people. It just lays out strange to me on, on the vertical picture. Um, so those two things, to me, kind of throw me off enough. Like, those are, to me, very jarring. The composition and then just how bright the faces are on the children. That that is enough to where I'm like, this could be a three, no doubt. If you fixed, the, if you fix the post processing, I feel like that would help out a lot. But for me, it's just it, it feels. I don't know that I would put it on my website the way that it is right here in this presentation. Yeah. Now, here's a bunch of stern-looking people, and this one is working for me. 
whereas the Star Wars one was not working for me. Why is that? Because I'm racist. Is it? Yep. There's there's some ethnicity in this picture too, though. There's still, a few. I'm still a racist. Um. <clears throat> all right, let's rate it. All right. Three, two, one, three. I lean towards three and a half with this one. Here, here's the thing. I, I feel like this. All of the poses are so good and well thought out with this one. Um, whereas the Star Wars shot before didn't feel cohesive. It was like everybody was kind of wearing their own thing. Everybody's pose was completely random. Everybody's facial expression was somewhat different. They were yeah. all kind of angry, but it was still different. This this shot, though, feels like a Vogue, Annie Leibovitz type right. posed shot. And so I, I just feel like it's working here because it was just taken to that level. Yep. Whereas with the previous one that I didn't like... And I wonder how much of that is the fact that it's outside, and so that gives you a feel of a little more natural than being in a studio. And then, too, like, there's just so many people that your eye has a chance. Like, maybe, I can't even say this. I was going to say, maybe somebody in this photo really does look awkward. But as I'm going through, well, like... the two they, guys on the far outside, they're kind of killing the mood a little bit with their little smirks. Yeah. You know, they, they, they went a little far. But maybe it's because they're far back, and you don't really, your eye doesn't go right to them. But um, overall, it's just like the the way the posing is done here. I, I can imagine this took a while to set up yeah. with the chairs and the blanket and the elephant and like. See, for me, this gives me anxiety because you're going for broke on the shot. Maybe you already got all these other pictures and you're like, we got it in the bag. Yeah. The sun setting, but like to take the time to do this because people do this at weddings too, where they they get everyone. The payoff is so big though. Like this turned out great to take that chance, because what if this isn't good? And then you've made everyone get in that position. And I know. then at the end of the day, you're like, man, I don't really want to deliver that picture, <laughs> I know. but I have you to. You have to, because people worked really hard for the shot, but I feel like it turned out great here. And, uh, you know. What do you feel about the exposure, color grade, lighting, like all of those elements? So it's not, it's not as polished as a shot that Annie would do, where she'd, she'd come out with two or three six foot soft boxes and she would she would make sure the lighting is coming from the same side on each of these people you know um it, it, it's a little bit more sloppy than that um so that's the reason why i'm not giving it a four or five star but i feel like it's cool and the color grade i think works for this it's got to be the best family picture this family's ever had like that's yeah that's really cool all right so that was 20 shots but david says that we have one more so let's check this one out this is a different process. Yeah. It's, um... They've done the muted colors, too, which I personally like. Well, it's in style. Yeah. What do you think's going on with the kids? Like, the teeth look? They've been whitened a little bit. All right, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. You went four. I, I think three, five is kind of what I was thinking. I, I don't know, man. Like, this... It's excellent. Um, and here's why. There's obviously a lot of harsh shadows, um, but somehow the photographer was able to completely mitigate that. I, I potentially in post processing. I mean, look at their faces. It's almost as though they've been lit in the studio now, even though it was taken outside. I think what throws me off though is like if you look at some of the shirts, the shadow. It's like the shadow's different than what's on the face. And it, yeah. it kind of pulls me out of it. Maybe uh, if you're not a photographer, you don't notice the shadows and it's like a beautiful picture. I think that's what makes... <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I think that's what makes this shot so great. Is It's almost like the photographer showing off. <laughs> so I, I, I love the hard shadows on the clothing and then the soft shadows on the faces because... I think the photographer's kind of showing off their skills. It's like, look at the environment that I had to take this photo in, and then boom, look at what I'm capable of doing. But now that I look at it closely, like this kid in the blue, he, they're not even looking at the camera. <laughs> the wife's kind of got like a snarky look. Like her teeth are kind of coming over the lip in a little weird way. Doesn't seem quite natural. And then, like, on the grandmother, is that is that a woman? 
In the grandmother, it's like the David Bowie looking person. She, they've left the shadows on the neck, but they kept it, they took the shadows away on the face. I'm like, we're literally crying. <laughs> I, I was, I was, I was hanging out with like four people last night and people kept sending this to me and I'm showing all these people and they're like, they're like mothers and fathers. We are all literally crying tears. Like this cannot be real. It cannot be real. But even if it's not real, like it's the funniest <laughs> picture. If you're, is this the, the woman here? Is this the one who posted it? It's like her photo shoot. Do yeah, you, yeah. If you get this picture, and now with it being all over the web and people love it, do you print this large and put it in your house? Is this yeah. the, is this the family portrait? Oh that's my like, gosh, yes. So I mean, in that way, the photographer succeeded. Yeah, it's, it might be one of the most famous family portraits besides being like the royal family or something like yeah. for the average family this is like become the pinnacle all right guys thank you for watching <laughs> if you'd like if you think this is serious at all i want your images critiqued <laughs> yeah head over to appstoppers.com for content somewhat like this every day and if you'd like to learn from the best photographers in the world and check out our full length photography tutorial so that you don't take pictures like this, head over to fstoppers.com slash store. <laughs>